Baker's percentage is a notation method indicating the proportion of an ingredient relative to the flour used in a recipe when making breads, cakes, muffins, and other baked goods. It is also referred to as Baker's math, and may be indicated by a phrase such as based on flour weight. It is sometimes called formula percentage, a phrase that refers to the sum of a set of Baker's percentages. Baker's percentage expresses a ratio in percentages of each ingredient's weight to the total flour weight. Baker's percentage ingredient equals 100 percent times weight ingredient weight flour display style text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient equals 100 percent times frac text weight underscore text ingredient text weight underscore text flour for example in a recipe that calls for 10 pounds of flour and 5 pounds of water the corresponding baker's percentages are 100 percent for the flour and 50 percent for the water because these percentages are stated with respect to the weight of flour rather than with respect to the weight of all ingredients, the sum of these percentages always exceeds 100%. Flour-based recipes are more precisely conceived as baker's percentages, and more accurately measured using weight instead of volume. The uncertainty in using volume measurements follows from the fact that flour settles in storage and therefore does not have a constant density. Baker percentages A yeast dough formula could call for the following list of ingredients, presented as a series of Baker's percentages. Conversions There are several common conversions that are used with Baker's percentages. Converting Baker's percentages to ingredient weights is one. Converting known ingredient weights to baker percentages is another. Conversion to true percentages, or based on total weight, is helpful to calculate unknown ingredient weights from a desired total or formula weight. Topic using baker percentages to derive the ingredient weights when any weight of flour WF is chosen, weight ingredient equals weight flour times baker's percentage ingredient 100% equals weight flour times baker's percentage ingredient display style begin align text weight underscore text ingredient and equals frac text weight underscore text flour times text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient 100% and equals text weight underscore text flour Hour times text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient end aligned in the example below two pounds and ten kilograms of flour weights have been calculated depending on the desired weight unit only one of the following four weight columns is used topic <laughs> creating baker's percentages the baker has determined how much a recipe's ingredients weigh and uses uniform decimal weight units all ingredient weights are divided by the flour weight to obtain a ratio, then the ratio is multiplied by 100% to yield the baker's percentage for that ingredient. Due to the cancelling of uniform weight units, the baker may employ any desired system of measurement metric or avoirdupois, etc. when using a baker's percentage to determine an ingredient's weight. Generally, the baker finds it easiest to use the system of measurement that is present on the available tools. Topic. Formula percentage and total mass The total or sum of the baker's percentages is called the formula percentage. The sum of the ingredient masses is called the formula mass or formula weight. Here are some interesting calculations. The flour's mass times the formula percentage equals the formula mass. Formula mass equals mass flour times formula percentage. Formula mass formula percentage equals mass flour. Display style begin aligned text formula mass and equals text mass underscore text flour times text formula percentage frac text formula mass text formula percentage and equals text mass underscore text flour end 
aligned and ingredients mass is obtained by multiplying the formula mass by that ingredients true percentage because an ingredients true percentage is that ingredients baker's percentage divided by the formula percentage expressed as parts per 100 an ingredients mass can also be obtained by multiplying the formula mass by the ingredients baker's percentage and then dividing the result by the formula percentage mass ingredient equals formula mass times true percentage ingredient true percentage ingredient equals baker's percentage ingredient formula percentage times 100 percent mass ingredient equals formula mass times baker's percentage ingredient formula percentage equals formula mass times baker's percentage ingredient formula percentage Display style begin aligned text mass underscore text ingredient and equals text formula mass times text true percentage underscore text ingredient text true percentage underscore text ingredient and equals frac text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient text formula percentage times 100 percent text mass underscore text ingredient and equals text formula mass times frac text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient text formula percentage and equals frac text formula mass times text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient text formula percentage end aligned thus it is not necessary to calculate each ingredient's true percentage in order to calculate each ingredient's mass provided the formula mass and the baker's percentages are known Ingredients masses can also be obtained by first calculating the mass of the flour then using baker's percentages to calculate remaining ingredient masses mass ingredient equals formula mass formula percentage times baker's percentage ingredient equals mass flour times baker's percentage ingredient display style begin aligned text mass underscore text ingredient and equals frac text formula mass text formula percentage times text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient ingredient and equals text mass underscore text flour times text baker's percentage underscore text ingredient end aligned the two methods of calculating the mass of an ingredient are equivalent formula mass times true percentage ingredient equals mass flour times baker's percentage ingredient display style text formula mass times text true percentage underscore text ingredient equals text mass underscore text flour times text baker's percentage underscore Score text ingredient. Topic: Weights and densities. The use of customary U.S. units can sometimes be awkward, and the metric system makes these conversions simpler. In the metric system, there are only a small number of basic measures of relevance to cooking, the gram G for weight, the liter L for volume, the meter M for length, and degrees Celsius degree C for temperature. Multiples and sub-multiples are indicated by prefixes. Two commonly used metric cooking prefixes are milli M and kilo K. Intra-metric conversions involve moving the decimal point. Common avoirdupois and metric weight equivalences. 1 pound lb equals 16 ounces oz 1 kilogram kilogram topic 1000 grams g 2 20,462,262 pounds 1 pound topic 453.59237 grams 0 0.4535-9237 kilograms 1 ounce equals 28.3495231 grams. In four different English language countries of recipe and measuring utensil markets, approximate cup volumes range from 236.59 to 284.1 milliliters (ml). Adaptation of volumetric recipes can be made with density approximations. Due to volume and density ambiguities, a different approach involves volumetrically measuring the ingredients, then using scales or balances of appropriate accuracy and error ranges to weigh them, and recording the results. 
With this method, occasionally an error or outlier of some kind occurs. Drawbacks <laughs> 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 Baker's percentages do not accurately reflect the impact of the amount of gluten-forming proteins in the flour on the final product and therefore may need to be adjusted from country to country, or even miller to miller, depending on definitions of terms like bread flour and actual protein content. Manipulation of known flour protein levels can be calculated with a Pearson square. In home baking, the amounts of ingredients such as salt or yeast expressed by mass may be too small to measure accurately on the scales used by most home cooks. For these ingredients, it may be easier to express quantities by volume, based on standard densities. For this reason, many breadmaking books that are targeted to home bakers provide both percentages and volumes for common batch sizes. Besides the need for appropriate readability scales, a kitchen calculator is helpful when working directly from baker's percentages. Advantages Baker's percentages enable the user to Compare recipes more easily i.e., which are drier, saltier, sweeter, etc. Spot a bad recipe, or predict its baked characteristics Alter or add a single ingredient percentage without changing the other ingredients percentages Measure uniformly an ingredient where the quantity per unit may vary as with eggs Scale accurately and easily for different batch sizes. Topic: <laughs> Common formulations. Common formulations for bread include 100% flour, 60% water, liquid, 1% yeast, 2% salt, and 1% oil, lard, or butter. Topic. Dough hydration In a recipe, the baker's percentage for water is referred to as the hydration. It is indicative of the stickiness of the dough and the crumb of the bread. Lower hydration rates e 50 to 57% are typical for bagels and pretzels, and medium hydration levels 58 to 65% are typical for breads and rolls. Higher hydration levels are used to produce more and larger holes, as is common in artisan breads such as baguettes or ciabatta. Doughs are also often classified by the terms stiff, firm, soft, and slack. Batters are more liquid doughs. Muffins are a type of drop batter while pancakes are a type of pour batter. Errata <inaudible> <inaudible> Except for creams and custards, when the formula includes milk, bakers almost always use high heat NFDM non-fat dry milk. In breads the usage is typically within a range of 5% to 12%. Fresh whole milk is 3.5% milk fat, 88% water, and 8.5% milk solids. A yeast flavor in the baked bread is generally not noticeable when the baker's percent of added yeast is less than 2.5%. <laughs> Notes <laughs>